Um, so first of all, let me tell you a little bit about Code Academy. Um, Code Academy is a free online platform that allows anyone, anywhere to learn the digital skills required for jobs in the 21st century. Um, we've recently we've got some exciting times and we've partnered with schools, the government and some organisations including CAS across the UK to help with the preparation for um, the change in curriculum. So what's happened is recently the curriculum in the UK has changed. So um, we now have programming being taught to every five to 14 year old across the whole of England. Um, and what's really exciting is Code Academy, at Code Academy we've partnered with schools to help firstly prepare and train teachers. So we offer some training materials. We also have materials that can help prepare teachers in the classroom. So lesson plans and schemes of work and that kind of thing. And we've also re recently released uh, a new product, which is a pupil tracker. So what that will allow teachers to do is to um, use Code Academy in the classroom for free um, so that kids can learn across a multiple different programming languages and the teacher can actually track the progress and see how the kids are, are learning and see how quickly they're going through the courses. Yeah, so we don't just offer training. Um, anyone anywhere in the world can learn can learn to program and learn the skills required through Code Academy. But we've also kind of developed this special project product so that teachers can also use it in the classroom with students um, across all secondary schools and even some primary schools. We've had some kids at a young age starting to use Code Academy too, which is really exciting to hear. So um, for me, I was always really excited by figuring out the way things worked and understanding what was going on. I remember from a really early age, I think my favorite book was a, about a bus that goes into space and I loved learning lots of new things. So I always had a, a fascination for science. Um, and as time went on, I, um, I realized that I really wanted to understand more about how things work. So engineering seemed like a natural fit. So I went on to study engineering and it was only when I was 18 that I wrote my, my first line of code. And if I'm going to be honest, I was surrounded by male, male engineers. It was a very male dominated world. So something that I'm really excited about and, and quite jealous of is that kids today from five are going to get to experience what coding is and be able to start learning and, and experience all of that before any preconceptions, before that, that typical kind of male image that so many people have when it comes to programming. Um, I think, I don't necessarily think it's harder for a woman to pursue it. I think, you know, we, it's the opportunity that's available or what's perceived to be available for a woman. Um, in an industry that's so crowded with males, often it doesn't feel like a woman's place. And I think now is the time that we need to start empowering women and start making women feel like, you know, they can create their own their own blog post, they can create a website, even if it's in a, a tip, you know, within fashion, create a website for fashion, create an app that um, does something maybe in a, in a typically female area, but no, it's definitely time to dispel that myth. Um, I think right now, if you take just London as an example, um, by 2020 there's going to be 300,000 uh, job shortage based on digital skills. Uh, if we take the US in 2020, 1.4 million people, there's going to be 1.4 million uh, skills shortages for jobs. And so it's really important that right now we start training people to fill those, those gaps. Um, the other aspect of it is right now, if you take again, let me take London as an example, if you speak to Tech City, 50% um, of businesses claim that the, one of the most challenging things is to fill, fill the jobs with the skills of the 21st century. Um, so why it's so important is number one, it provides people with the skills for the jobs that exist today. And number two, even if you don't want to become a software engineer or work in technology, um, the computational thinking that you can develop um, programming isn't just about learning to code, whilst that's a phenomenal skill to have, it also teaches you how to think. Uh, so the future of education, that's a challenging one because technology is changing so many try industries. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Because we have to have uh, yeah, of course, sorry. Um, so the future of education, it's such a challenging thing to try and identify what's going to happen or what the changes are going to be there. But given that technology is infiltrating so many industries right now, um, you can take agriculture and you know farmers use algorithms to know when to plant their crops or in media editors look at algorithms to be able to decide what goes on the front page. I think now's a time where there's so much excitement within the education space and I think Code Academy is a really good example of how education is developing. We provide a platform, an interactive platform, which you can access anywhere in the world so long as you have access to the internet. And you can teach yourself using Code Academy how to code. And I think there's a big shift of people wanting to go out there themselves and learn it through, through new media that, that's existing today.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm here today at DLD Women. Um, this is such an exciting arena to meet so many prominent women within areas of all areas and all industries. Um, and I was really excited to talk on the panel about how important it is, um, how important coding is in, in today's society in the 21st century.